everyone, welcome to another Painting with Jay. If you're watching this video, I am going to Adepticon! Yes! So this is pre-filmed a uh, week in advance because I'll be heading to Adepticon next weekend. I want some content while I'm there to go out. So I might as well do a Painting with Jay. That way you can keep painting while I'm uh, enjoying Adepticon. It's going to be good. So I'm going to keep working on those scouts. I've worked on a little bit of them since, but they're well on their way. I need to do uh, a couple more colors, silvers, reds, black areas, eyes in general. So I don't think I'll be able to finish them tonight in the app next hour. But that's okay. We'll get a lot done and as much as we can. That's the point, right? Keep going. Keep going hard and um, get these guys done in ASAP. I don't have much painting time left. Today's officially Wednesday and I leave Tuesday night. So really, I have like two more painting days actually. And then I have to get packing and stuff. And so it'll be busy. It'll be a busy weekend. So let's get started. As always, grab brush, grab paint, grab models, paint along with me. Let's rid a world of unpainted models. Adam, you missed a spot. Cody Rue is awesome. Yes. Hey everyone, welcome back to Paint with Jay. It's been a while since my last Paint with Jay. Not really. I filmed it yesterday, but that's okay. So today we are going to, that was kind of a cool rhyming scheme. I'm going to focus on three colors, starting with the metallics. Get the metallics done in these scouts because uh, these scout guys, gotta get them done. So let's get these scouts done or as far as we can today. So I'm going to start off with by taking a giant amount of uh, lead belcher. And with lead belcher I'm going to paint um, the guns. So let's paint guns and uh, there's not that much metallic on them. But uh, That'll be okay. <laughs> uh, this area here will be metallic. Rather than wiping off my brush, this is not the brush I'll be using to clean to paint today. So I figured might as well just. There we go. Look at that. So, silver areas are going to come to life today. And then, uh, after the silver areas, I'm just grab my a cloth here. Or a paper towel to wipe stuff off on. Um, silvers, then walk, uh, shade, reds, shade. Um, and then black areas to clean up. And then that's basically it, right? So not too much left. Other than like small details like eyes and teeth, but um, not bad. So this will be good. And then when I get back from Adepticon, I'll work on other things, maybe a command squad or some tanks. The world is my oyster, right? So that's good. And I'll get those uh, everything Space Marine done for the next little while. After that, I really want to pick up the new triumvirate. To be honest, I haven't purchased that many models in a while, so maybe I'll do it. Maybe when I get a good price, I'll do it in Chicago. I don't think so. Though. The Canadian dollar is just so weak right now. So weak. So. We'll see. Right now, like a dollar Canadian is only like a seventy-five cents American. So it's really hard to be able to buy a whole lot when the Canadian dollar is so weak like that. There we go. Look at this. Eh, this guy's pretty good. I missed a couple areas. I was like, Adam, I missed a spot. I built a couple lists for Adepticon. 
One of them involves my scouts. One of them doesn't. So. So we'll see there. Well, I'll, depending on the game, I'll try one or the other. No real pressure either way. Both are middle ground. They're not too crazy or anything. Like last year I brought Necrons, and that was unintentionally a little over the top. I don't think I've actually played with them since, or maybe once or twice since, but not too much. To be fair, I haven't played that many games since. But I have a couple battle reports going up. Last week's was a cool one. It's with Dave. This week's one hopefully be up. Um, I have to get edited before Adepticon, so that'll be a bit of a challenge, to be honest. So, we'll see. Battle reports take a little while to, to edit. We'll see. I'll definitely try my best. But as I said, I'm leaving. I'm really leaving. I do have my housemate here, of course, but I'm I'm really heading up. You know, Wednesday morning first thing, but uh, Tuesday is pretty much a write off. So. So we'll have to uh, have to work hard. These guys, as I said, they're I'd love to get them based. That'd be really good for the battle report and stuff. Get them all done. And this is one of those cool things that you can really like with something coming up like a tournament or um, an event like a, going to a convention. It's been putting a little pressure on me to paint. And I got these two squads of scouts. If I get them done, that's awesome. 10 less models that I need to paint in the future, right? So that's not bad. Not bad at all. So if I can. Just uh, stay focused and get them done. After this, I'm probably gonna go edit for a while. Yeah, next minute Japan 101 will be up. Look at that. As I said, I'm going to use my gray liner as I normally do as a cleanup color. Clean up the area of the gun, then I'm not painting actually gray liner. And the boots, and uh, that'd be good. I missed an ear in him. Those oh, reds, actually, that I missed it. As you can see, the amount of yellow on the model is really diminishing, and that's good as it approaches being done. They're not giant blobs of yellow anymore, as they were at the very beginning of my journey with these guys. Because I just base coated them heavily yellow at the beginning. That. And now there's a good amount of nut yellow.
So he's pretty good. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be a good trip. I hope the weather's good. It's been a really crazy week here for weather. I was supposed to drive to uh, Belleville about an hour and a half away this week. And I just didn't because the weather was just so crappy. So much snow. And it was like spring for uh, you know a few days here in Canada. And and then nature came back and was like, nope, still winter. And now it's in daylight savings time, so it's still like sunny outside at 7 o'clock. But it's still really chilly. So. Good. Look at him. So he's on, done. How many more yellows do I have? Five more. What time is it? I mean, 10 minutes in. Good. This is going to be good. So after this, I will hit, after the metallics are done, I'm just going to get more on my palette. I will do the reds. On the red shading. the black the non oil is, is done by then and if not I'll uh, figure that out maybe eyes yeah and this time I actually am bringing someone it's gonna be interesting with going to a adepticon with someone else I'm, I'm really excited I said it's gonna be a good trip I'm bringing my my new girlfriend, she really doesn't know, she looks at a little bit what I do, she watches some of my videos, I should probably watch this one sometime, but um, I'm, I'm really excited to go with her and show her the geeky world of miniature wargaming, and uh, she's gonna have fun, like we're gonna, we're gonna go on like a little bit of date nights and stuff, like day one we're probably gonna go and do stuff. I'm gonna spend some time with her, as well as spending time with just my my viewers and my my friends and my fellow YouTubers and it's gonna be good. Look at that, another one done. Friday, the next um, Defender series comes out. Iron Fist, so that'll be cool. Yeah, that'll be good. Really looking forward to it. Um, what are the things I want to do in Chicago? Obviously, go eat a deep dish pizza. Fast food, and I've been pretty good with fast food lately. And this week is going to be against that. Oops. It happens. Look at that, another one done. This is coming along quite well. I'm gonna clean that up with some black after. And can't wait. These guys, they're all, look at that, they're they're clearly, you know, I could bring these guys to a tournament right now, and obviously I would never win Best Painted, but uh, they'd definitely be allowed in a tournament, at least. So I'm not that ashamed of bringing them to Adepticon yet. I know I'm going to face probably at least one Space Marine Army, and probably Roby Gilman. Ouch.
Yeah, I'll bring three or four lists. That way I can have some fun, bring some versatility. Uh, there's not that much I can do, really do, really, because I'm just bringing my a small amount of space marines, right? So that's okay. I can bring a couple different variations of my HQ, or do I want to bring, you know, a CAD? Do I want to bring uh, Gladius Strike Force? You know, a few options. Oops. No, white. Or my I need him? drive will be pretty long. It always is. You know, you spend a whole day just driving. It does fly by sometimes, you know. You just keep going. That's it. Stop for gas, stop for some food, washroom, and then keep going. Put as many kilometers behind you as possible. I'm hoping that they don't accidentally oversell the hotel again this year. That was not cool last year. Like last year, the same week as Adepticon, like three or four days beforehand, I got an email saying like, because they made us do deposits last year to prevent people from last minute canceling and to penalize them. And then a few days before Adepticon, they contacted us and were like, hi, they had reservations. They're like, hi, just to let you know, for no reason at all, if you uh, have a reservation and you want to cancel right now, we're not going to penalize you. In fact, We'll also give you a $50 food voucher card for the the food stand at Adepticon. I was like, hmm, something's fishy. And it was. Yeah. So, and then obviously when we got there, we found out that, yeah, uh, they were overbooked. And like Miranda, it's a war gamer girl, and uh, a few of the people we knew got bumped. They got bumped to a different hotel. I wonder if they got it for free or something, maybe for a good price or something. So that wouldn't suck. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. If you get bumped, would you would it be free? Oh. That'd be interesting. So is this up? Last is this the last silver? No, it is. Wonder why I just put too much on my palette. Eh, whatever. That's okay. So yeah, after this my silvers are are done. Give them a second. Start hitting with a A non oil. And then so are the reds. The reds aren't going to be toured either because most of their chest symbols aren't exposed. Perfect. Good. Let's give those a second. Maybe I should just do the reds right now. Mm. And then I 
can start on the black areas, I guess. Yeah. Because the non oil will definitely. I'm sorry, the. Um, yeah, I'll start on the red areas. Shouldn't take me very long. And then I'll go back and do non oil shading, red shading. And then maybe just start a cleanup or something. I don't know. I'd probably go carefully with my highlight colors. And What are we? 20 minutes in. All right. This is good. I'm going to have some painted scouts for Adepticon. Another 10 models. Now the question is then, how should I build my uh, command squad, for example? Should I build them? I'll have to look that up and see what I want to build them with. Probably a banner. Um, a banner would be good. Um, And nope. Uh, banner would be good. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I was building a 1500 point list the other day, or yesterday, and just seeing how many freaking, uh, like in a 1500 point game, with what I would normally run, how many. Uh, if, I, if I decided to bring what I have and, and um, how many free Razorbacks could I get? And in 1,500 points, I fit in, I think, seven. Seven Razorbacks, and I upgraded them all with the uh, additional points that I had available with um, Blast Cannons. So, yeah, that's a thing. That's pretty wacky. Uh, so I can bring seven... The like question is, I only have two right now, so that means I have to buy five more. Darn, Games Workshop, you have me. You know? I would really... So I have to get five more Razorbacks. For a 1500-point game, that'd be kind of wacky. Now, obviously, like certain armies, like Eldar, would still destroy them, but still... Good. Look at that. These guys are really coming along well. So and then when they're done, so I'll take it from there. Build some more models. Keep paying. Not before Adepticon, I guess, but it's okay. Um. When I get back. Definitely painting more than I bought. Yeah, I did buy one of these squads recently. But uh, that's okay. I needed them for this army. So it wasn't terrible. No. I'm okay with buying one squad of scouts for 30 bucks. Before I go to tournament, you know, or not tournament event. 
So I'm after about 25 minutes. I'm already done the silvers. I'm going to be done the reds in about a minute or two. So it's time to then do the red. Uh, the red shade and the black shade. Um, and then start on the black gear. Let's just do that. Sorry, I'll clean it all up with my uh, non oil, not non oil, um, with my um, green liner. I'll cut it all in and clean it all up. So just allow me to go a little bit faster with the. Uh, brush is pretty warped. Yeah, maybe I should have one of the bolters, but that's okay. This has got to do a bolter drill for uh, Imperial Fists. That's okay. It'll be fun. Sniper rifles are pretty fun. <laughs> Maybe I should bring an assassin. Oh, I don't have the points for it. It's okay. Done. So now I'll do the non oil shading on the uh, black areas. The white areas, the silver areas in the model. And then a red shading on the red areas. And. And then start cutting them all in with the gray liner. That's it. And then it's going to be basing time. Oops. So now just taking on oil. Next one. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna be good. I might have to accomplish in the next, you know, few days. The weekend, um, I should be able to pack a bit and get ready. I'll have I'll have all my armor list printed off by then, and yeah, it should be completely packed by probably Sunday or Monday. Um, Sunday. And then maybe a few like clothes or something. But other than that, I'll be pretty much packed up. And did I forget the bat? No, only battery packs on two guys. Um, I will. Yeah. As I said, so that should be completely packed. Clothing-wise, um, 
And almost camera wise, I should really get my equipment good ahead of time. I don't want to forget anything. I forgot the reds on him. Oops. So let's do that. So I'm going to definitely get to the hotel with plenty of time. Um, so that I can definitely check in. Watched uh, Apocalypse, uh, X Men Apocalypse yesterday. It was okay. Could have been way better. Apocalypse is such a good villain. The way they dealt with him, yeah. Makes no sense. A couple parts of it, like with the Wolverine scene, makes no sense to me. Why would he be there? Where he was. Makes no sense. There's too many weird storylines, I think. Logan was definitely better. Sadder. Better. Mm -hmm. Swearier. Better. Uh, 30 minutes. Perfect. This is good. I didn't do his red either. I am being like Adam and missing spots. Oh my goodness. Maybe next I'll work on my tanks. The, um, the Razorbacks. I just gotta pick up five more. I like to do that, but if I missed a spot, like Adam, I uh, will stop, get that done, so that way when I keep going, all the colors are good. You know? And I'll do a red shading, which hopefully by the, the non-oil shade, a little bit of time to dry. And then I'll continue going. I'll just do, I guess, gray liner for as much as I can. Tidy up um, some areas, and then uh, they're done. Basing will take a little bit of time as well. I'll do that on the weekend if I have a, you know twenty minutes for, for basing. But 
I should definitely have all my army. It's mostly packed up anyway. Like, my armies aren't strewn around. You know, they're pretty... I have them all together, so it won't take me that long. I'm not going to bring that much. I'm going to bring, obviously, myself. Bring me? Um, I'm going to bring my army, some camera equipment, uh, my laptop, maybe. I'm going to finish my camera stuff and um, my clothes. That's about it. Bring the clothes, you know. I don't really bring a lot of clothes to a convention because it's mostly inside, you know. I don't be outside very much other than I'll grab my jacket and go. Um, perfect. What else? Yeah, I won't bring too much. I was thinking of doing some bits trading, but I really don't have anything to trade at the moment. Yeah, I really don't have much to trade. Or at least I don't have much that I can bring. Yeah, we'll see. Done. Now the wall shading is done. <laughs> I need some Carver Crimson. It's regular class shade. Carver Crimson, perfect. Hit the red areas. And then uh, I'll start gray liner because this is definitely not going to be dry before. Oh. Uh, the gray actually might be, silvers might actually be done. We'll see. I mean, the non oil is almost dry on most of these areas. Forty minutes. Yeah. I gotta go edit. We'll make dinner probably, and then. Um. And then yeah, edit some videos. Done. This is going to be good. So I'm just a little tired. It's been a long day. That's okay. Done. Another one done. Reds are done. Maybe a nice, a quick overbrush of 
Yeah, it's pretty much dry. So let's do a quick overbrush in certain silver areas. Uh, Iron Breaker. And then after that. Grey Liner. Man, I like these guys. It's gonna be fun to have them on the table. My Space Marine Army is coming to life very slowly but surely. I think I have like four, no, three and a half thousand points. Imperial Fist right now, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just gonna proxy that much. points I actually do have? That's a good question. Or at least painted, I mean. A bunch of HQs. Like, tons of librarians and stuff. And, uh, Lysander. And Tiggy. I should bring Tiggy. That'd be kind of fun. Librarian Conclave. I don't really know what I'm going to bring it. I've, I've made a few lists. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, man. Good. Read your notes. I don't even know what I'm going to do now. I guess a gray liner. Let's start gray linering. Yeah, we can start with a camo pattern, I guess. And then... Quick rip. Some more gray liner from there. Yeah, let's do it. So we'll finish up the silver. It's gray liner, and then have that like the small details, like their eyes and stuff. But these guys are, I'd say, pretty much done. Like they're not that much farther away. Maybe another color, color red as well, to do the um, to do just to bring the, the those things to life. That's okay. I'll do that after as well.
Let's get some gray liner going. Well, that, I didn't think I'd get to the gray liner phase today. At 15 minutes. So I'll start with camel cloaks. And let's go from there. Their, his, their boots, their gloves are going to be. So, tons of. Yeah, quick camel pattern. Good. It's a little fun. Just give it a good shake. It's not really a bit watery. Let's get these guys done. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah, and there's this one game I might want to sign up for again. I didn't fit through it last year. I was, I was having fun. It was a good game. I filmed the battle report. But um, this game where you control a ship and each person has their own job. I know the guys did it last time. So. Of color and we'll paint the sorry I'm just gonna pull it close to my body for a second so I'm gonna pull out a frame hand. Oops, I'm touching it with my fingers. Definitely touching it with my fingers. So I gotta figure out a better way to grasp it. Because I just ruined it, that paint job right there. Oops, happens.
Oh, shoot. I always switch paintbrushes. This one's just a little messed on the tip. Hi. Okay, so grab here. Let's paint these guys. I should talk a little bit more, but you're painting along with me. That's okay. And I filmed my last painting with you yesterday, so I haven't done much since, but it's okay. Apparently, the Warmer 40K group in Peterborough, uh, they've been talking about how Elder got the new rules recently, I guess, and they're even more overpowered than they were before. I think it's a shame because Elder were already really powerful. They didn't really need more fancy new rules. But, uh, well, that's okay, I guess. I think there's a tournament's coming up in Peterborough called uh, Brawl in the Hall. And it's coming up uh, this weekend that's come, I guess, this weekend that you see. Because right? um, this is posted now, and it'll be up. Um, I mentioned, uh, put a link in last week's battle report. So. But it'll be good. It's in Peterborough, and it's run by my friend Dave. Um, and he was tell saying on the links that he's not saying any lists or anything, but uh, I'm guessing a large probability, a large portion of the Eldar players are coming. And obviously in the competitive circuit, Eldar is one of the armies of choice right now. That um, they're going to be this new rule set. There you go. See this guy? If you saw him at tournament, he'd be, he's tournament already. I think so. Look at that. So he's good. I'm going to do the eyes and the, the lower details. Detail it after before I base them, but um, yeah, yeah, these guys are you know what? I could have spent a little more time, got them the, the camo pattern a little bit cl cleaner, but uh, it's okay, like it's it's. Definitely not the end of the world with them. They look good. They were definitely battle report ready. And uh, I'm happy. I set my, you know, whenever I'm painting, I set my predetermined quality that I'm going to paint to, and I follow it. That way I kind of know when they're done.
there. Paint his boots. And the third one is pretty much done. I can um, I really gotta start basing them then, essentially, and then some minor details, the eyes and the teeth. I should definitely tonight I'm gonna just go back in. If I can get Battle report edited tonight, and I don't know, maybe another video, that'd be good. I just, you gotta agree, I'm not, obviously this last couple weeks haven't been the most content, but I'm really getting back in to making content again, and I love it, it makes me happy. I love seeing the views coming back, and the subscribers keep going up, and I gotta stop touching this base. Three down. I'll paint for maybe five, ten more minutes. Call it a night. And then, uh, well, I can edit these as well, I guess. Tonight. They don't take very long for me to edit them. Vlogging is going to be fun. Got my new vlog camera, right? That I've been using for my vlogs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I decided for my vlogs, I'm going to, for next week, I'm going to vlog the whole week first. And then each day um, will be done in, you know, I will do the whole week um, first. And then each day in detail, I think. Maybe I'll just do the days leading up. Hmm, we'll see. So four. Looking good. Let's do another one. I definitely gotta buy some more paints. Uh, buy some more gray liner and ghost white and all the Reaper paints I love. This is a chance to buy more. I should also pick up some more chibi miniatures. Uh, maybe a couple. I'll spend too much. Hmm. It's gonna be kind of my. Okay. Paint on it. So I'm just gonna push. 
push it down. Oh wow. Yeah, it's actually clogged in there. There we go. Done. Good. Let's keep going. Ah, hope you in TV land or internet land have gotten a lot of done over the last couple weeks too. I am I'm happy to have two painted squads of scouts. So now I have three. And that's all I need for my um to make a demi company. And actually to do a battle company as well. Uh it would be Uh, yeah, that's all I need for a battle company. So, I really should, um... But the thing is, with a battle company, the best part about a battle company is the... Um... The free vehicles. So you have to have a bunch of... Vehicles painted first. So until I have that, I shouldn't really run the Demi Company, because that's the beauty of the Demi Company. Hmm. I don't know. You know what I mean? If I... I really want to go to the Games Workshop event that they're doing but it's like limited t tickets and everything. I'm not even going to bring... more machine or hordes. I don't know why I signed up for it, frankly. I'm not going to bring it. I decided that. I have limited space. I don't know the game. It was only five bucks, to be fair. Um, and I thought maybe I could get back into it, but no. I'm going to bring 40k. Play some games of 40k. And uh, that could be good. I'm looking forward to playing some games. Just uh, maybe filming. Like if I can film two or three battle reports, that'd be great. Because that way, I, I really love it because it's, it's a way of filming battle reports with people that normally couldn't film with me, right? They can't get, make it all the way to Peterborough, Ontario. Most people don't know where Peterborough, Ontario is. Let alone want to go to Peterborough, Ontario. There's tons of snow. Stupid nature. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um... Look at this, these guys are really... I have six of them. After this one, I'm probably gonna call it right an hour. And uh, it's okay, I'm gonna come back and hide it up the reds, which will once again clean it up. And face, do the eyes. The other detail, like the eyes, I could probably wait. If I, if I have time, I can do them. But if I don't, most of them don't even have eyes exposed. But like these guys, that's definitely, you know, tournament worthy, battle report worthy. 
I think. So, yeah, I could sit in a battle report, providing it's based and not yellowy. So. Six guys are done with the um, the black, so it's not bad. Look at that, right now we're in overtime. So. Look at this, these guys. I'm out of uh, gray liner in a second, so. Once I'm out, I'll stop. Because um, I'm not going to refill it. So I'm just gonna go. I don't want to waste any paint, so I'm gonna go until I don't have any more um, gray liner on my palette, and then call it a night. I think this has been a good painting with Jay. Look at that. I've got a lot of work done, and I'm uh... yeah. I think it's looking really good. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know how much more time I'll have to paint in the next um, five days. Wow. I don't actually six days, but still, like a week from now, I will be in Chicago. Uh, be in line probably waiting to uh, sign up register done all right so let's call it now I'm out of paint so let's end now so there it is in the end it was a lot of fun we had tons of I got tons of work done um, yeah, they're looking pretty good. I'm not done, obviously, but, uh, they're getting close. They're getting really close to the point where I like, if I base them today, most of them would actually be battle report worthy right now, you know, definitely showing on the table looking good. So I'm working hard getting them done. 10 more scouts painted. That's good. You know, so 10 more scouts painted. I have some tanks and I'll work, continue to work really hard over the next few months, get a lot of work done, get a lot of pinning done. Life would be good, you know? Reading my world of unpainted models is where it's at. So thank you so much for painting along with me. And most importantly, thank you to all my Patreon subscribers. This is a free content video, so you can see all their names go by my head. Huge thank you to all my Patreon subscribers if you want to help contribute to my Patreon campaign as well. Link in the description below. And uh, definitely, please go check it out. It really means a lot and really helps me create my free content. So stay tuned for more videos until I see some of the Jay saying, happy painting with me.